Much Ado About Nothing to me is the story of either discovering love or rekindling love, right? So there's people who fall in love anew in this play and there's Benedict and Beatrice who fall in love again in this play, maybe? What would you say? I mean, yeah, I would, I would say that sounds, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the like nutshell. You know, you get to watch these two stubborn people not be able to act in their own best interest and need outside forces to help them realize what's there between them. And I think there's something deeply enjoyable in that. What um, is unique to our production of Much Ado, do you think? Well, I think that the setting is really lovely. Messina, Sicily, like 1930s-ish. Beautiful costumes, the music is really fantastic. We tango. Yes, we tango, tango. a great deal. Mm -hmm. We are getting better yeah. at the tango. <laughs> There's uh, lots of dancing. There's, um, and I think I want to circle back because I think the music of this production mm -hmm. is, it's rare to see a production like this that has this much live music. We've hired some actors that are really talented musicians. Mm -hmm. So instead of sound, pre-recorded sound cues, of which there are some, there's lots of just musicians bursting onto the stage and playing live songs. That is special. That's really great. A great production of a Shakespeare play solves the problem that many of us have, whereas in high school we were um, forced to read it. Um, and maybe not understand it. But when you see professional actors bring that language to life, it's kind of key. So I, I always encourage anyone who's, who has a love-hate relationship with Shakespeare to come see a professional production that tends to illuminate more than you realize is there.